I don't know why. I mean, this pizza is for me, and so it's not going to a celebrity, unless I am one. Um, <laughs> anyways, just being silly. Um, Merry meet and welcome. So today, if you've been following along, we are finally getting to the pizzas. So we're going to be starting with G. Stephanopoulos Pizza. So if you remember, this is from season one, episode one, when the women are feeling really down and they get the wrong pizza, but it turns out to be for someone famous right across the street. And yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and recreate this. The very fun thing about this is Besides the cheese, it is pretty much already vegan, so we just have to follow along and have a really great uh, veggie pizza. So let's go ahead and get started. So we do have our pizza essentials. We have our pizza dough here already, and we have the oven preheated at 450. So next, what we're going to go ahead and do is spread over our other essential, which is Joey's marinara sauce. I'm so pleased with this still. And don't forget the videos for both the pizza dough and the marinara sauce are going to be linked below. Or maybe the playlist would be better. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, this pizza is for me. And so it's not going to a celebrity unless I am one. Um, <laughs> anyways, just being silly. Um, I like a lot of sauce. So I think a lot of like pizza connoisseurs, uh, like believe like having like these little pockets are like for the best and I do enjoy that but I am someone who like I do need it to be mostly red looking like I don't want to be guessing if I put enough sauce on that spot or not This is also how you create your crust. So like if you like don't like a lot of crust that pops out and whatnot and but you didn't really like roll it like mine isn't really rolled here, but the weight of the ingredients is gonna help keep it down and it's just gonna help those edges. So as you're seeing, I don't really need that much of a crust edge. So I'm going pretty far out. All right, there is our Joey's marinara sauce. And technically there are measurements on uh, this thing, um, but I am not following those because I really just believe pizza making should be like, oh, what looks good to me and really have it be a personal experience. And if you were like really into magic too, you can cast a little food spell on it, you know? Okay, so that's probably like honestly more than enough cheese, but I just think it looks so good. Perfect. Okay, and so now what we're going to do, of course, is put on our toppings. So for this one, <laughs> I do think it's interesting. So it calls for eight ounces of baby, uh, or actually criminy or portobello mushrooms. I found out through this process that criminy are the same as bella mushrooms. So I bought them pre-sliced. Um, but yeah, it said to use eight ounces. I personally love mushrooms, so we're gonna try. And like maybe it is because my pizza, maybe it doesn't reach the full 13 inches that they uh, want this dough to reach. <laughs> but you can't ignore that we also have so many more other toppings that we're going to be putting on here. <laughs> so it almost like looks uh, like an open face lasagna or something. Um, so I'm going to leave it like that. We're not going to add all eight ounces. <laughs> not at all. I'm almost regretting cutting all of these cherry tomatoes into half now. I definitely thought I would use all of them. But we'll see. So the other thing, very important, is going to be our bell peppers. So something that is fun though and actually does help with meal prep is pre-cutting the vegetables. So like if I was really not into this, I could have pre-cut all these and have them in these. I have so many things that have like lids on them that I can put into the fridge and I have these like little glass ones as well. I love them. And so I use those all the time too. And so first we'll do some cherry, no, let's use the onion. And this is actually called for a whole onion. This is only half an onion, because in my experience, you get so much out of an onion. And like, whenever people say a whole onion, I'm like, what kind of onions are you buying? Like, where are you buying your produce? Because I feel like the onions that we get are so much bigger. Um, and then of course, you know, if you don't like onions, you just skip this. At this point, we're just making a pizza. On his 
in the show, it actually, I'm pretty sure, well, it's been a minute since I've seen that actual scene, but it was mainly Mushroom in uh, Bell Pepper. So I'm pretty sure the tomatoes and onion are extra anyway. And then we'll put some tomatoes. Although I do love a fresh tomato, or like, you know, uh, having these extra, extra tomatoes on top, they can just be so good. I feel like it's a little uniform, but like also, what else am I gonna do? Uh, but anyways, back to having like pre-cut vegetables and stuff is I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure that I use these in a meal prep meal tomorrow. Uh, I may have a salad. There we go. Really offset this pizza we're about to have. And so there's that. And now what we're going to do is we're actually going to put some crushed red pepper. I really like all these flavor combinations, which is why I'm going for the full recipe. Cannot stress enough that you can do whatever you want though. But I just like how all these flavors will definitely blend well together. And then of course, always good to season with salt and pepper to taste. I'm a pepper gal, so I'm just going to go ahead and do a good seasoning there. And then I'm gonna grab some sea salt and I'm gonna aim for the tomatoes because I personally love salted, salted tomatoes. They're so good. That's why people like fried tomatoes because it's just a whole bunch of salt and breading on delicious acidity. So yes, I'm really loving this. We're again getting a good rainbow in our food, yes. And with that, we're going to go ahead. The oven is not preheated yet, so we're gonna put this in the oven and we're gonna check back after we have pulled this out and maybe even taste tested it, we'll see. Merry meat again. So here we are with our finished pizza. So we ended up having it in there for about 20 minutes and it turned out really good. We got a nice little sound going on with our crust and oh I didn't even check the bottom and I didn't pre-cut this at all. Um, <laughs> it's mine. I'm, I, it'll be fine. I'm the one eating this. But you can see we have that like beautiful coloring on the bottom and the cornmeal just helps make it feel a lot more authentic. Um, the tomatoes as you see do have an issue with staying down. Something I was thinking about because you can like the cheese is really buried because there is so much toppings. Definitely could have put more cheese. Like I said, it wasn't following the directions. So for all I know, it like accounted appropriately for that. But honestly, that was a lot of ingredients otherwise. And either way, I tasted it. It's delicious. It tastes like great pizza with ingredients that I love to eat. Um, it smelled so good and I definitely think that's because of the red peppers and the onions. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.